The day starts early for the crew of the Kimberly Selvig, usually at about 6.30 when the deckhands leave their floating bunkhouse and come aboard. Bill Rushka handles the ear-splitting startup routine. Two 500 horsepower engines give this small boat the power to move thousands of tons. At about 7 a.m., the captain leaves his own floating quarters next to the Kimberly Selvig. Once on board, he climbs to the pilot house, where he will spend the rest of the day. The Kimberly Selvig will have a passenger today. And we're off. My name's Larry Van Dusen. and I've been a captain here on the Calumet River since 1979. I started work as a deckhand about 1969, and I noticed there when I'm working in the wintertime that the guy up in the pot house used to have a shirt like I have on now, maybe. Nice, and I'm down there freezing all the time. Larry has been on this river damn near since the river was made. <laughs> Three, okay. He's been an icon out here for over 30 years, been running this river every day for 30 years. The Kimberly Selvig is one of about 12 boats moving barges on the Calumet River. Trains and trucks do some of the hauling here, but barges are the most efficient way to move massive amounts of cargo. And barges move with tugboats. The pilot house on the Kimberly Selvig moves up and down. That way, the captain can see above empty barges, which ride higher in the water. And he can duck down when necessary to get under some bridges. Other, larger tugboats move barges through the Great Lakes. But Captain Van Dusen and his crew spend most of their time moving barges short distances on the Calumet River or to nearby Lake Michigan ports in Indiana. Take this barge right here and take a peek inside when I think there's supposed to be grain in there. And sometimes they just rearrange barges to make way for new ones coming in off the lake. We're going to shift it up right up against that empty down the dock. With that one out of the way, they will move the two barges that were behind it. Tell me about what they're doing now. Well, they're just putting the barge wires between them there so that we can push them as one unit. Uh, I'm a deckhand. I just tie things up and untie them and face up the barges. They're always cleaning boats, keeping them tip-top shape. It's a lot more physical labor than somebody would think, that's for sure. The deckhands also serve as extra eyes for the captain. Well, it's hard to do for me and most people, I think, is to tell how far away you are from something up there. Like, you look at that, for instance, the head of that, and how far do you think you know, we are away from those other barges? It looks about like you're 50 feet. About 250 feet. 250 feet, feet see? Captain Van Dusen says the Kimberly Selvig is perfectly suited to this work on the Calumet. This boat can do a lot of things. It's kind of amazing, actually. It's real good in this river to get a lot of there's a lot of real tight spots in here. And you can get this boat in and out of there very well, you know. I told one of the dispatchers she wanted to send one of our bigger boats up to dig some barges on a real tight spot. We have them in Lake Calumet. And I said, you know, sending that big boat, I said, it's kind of like going Christmas shopping in a garbage truck and trying to find parking, you know. Because <laughs> I mean you just don't have room, you know, you can't maneuver it. The captain works seven days on and seven off. Some deckhands work two or even three weeks at a stretch. All three of these men commute here from Wisconsin. And lunch in this surprisingly normal looking kitchen comes whenever they can fit it in. Captain Van Dusen says there are lots of scary moments in this work too, like the time a barge broke free out on the lake or close calls with pleasure boats. And of course, storms and winter. Winters can be really tough in this because it's even you know, bad footing on a good day out here sometimes. But when you get ice on there, it's very dangerous. 
There have been big changes on the Calumet River in recent decades. When this company, Calumet River Fleeting, started in 1994, there were five companies moving barges. Today, there are two. But barges and tugboats are still the most efficient way to move heavy loads. If you have to wait for a bridge sometime for a towboat to go through, just remember that's like 100 semis for one barge that's going through there, and it's a lot of traffic that's not on the road because of that guy. Nice right. having you aboard today, Jim. Well, thank you. That was fantastic.